How do y'all on Star Roddy here? I'm here in Arlington, Texas at a KOA camp and uh, just thought I'd share my experience with you at a KOA camp. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle Raising money, making friends Seeing the country is a win Lone Star Rider Well, I'm glad y'all guys stuck around. Like I said, I'm here at a KOA camp here in Arlington, Texas, and let's uh, take a look at this. This is the tent area, and then they have uh, RV spots too. It cost me $32 to camp here in the tent area, and basically I'm just sleeping in my trailer here in the, in the parking spot. Um, there's a couple of things I would really like to have with this uh, campsite is covered picnic area. That would have been really nice. And uh, the parking spot is gravel. It should be paved. <laughs> I don't know why they got it gravel. Anyway, we'll take a look at them and we'll take a look at my camping spot. Uh, and then I'll give you my, uh, my opinion. <laughs> All right, let's let's look. All right, I'm in spot T three here, and these are padded camping tent sites here. The pads are pea gravel, basically, and then the walkways and the parking are a lot more bigger rocks. And I'm parked here in the parking area and this is where I'm going to be sleeping tonight they have pull through sites like this here throughout and I forgot the number they have of sites but they've got quite a bit anyway all this here is the uh, the tent parking and the tent site and it looks like they have one two three four five places to put tents and this is my workstation <laughs> the picnic table they got a little bridge that crosses the stream over there and it's for going over to the uh, showers and bathrooms which I'll use tonight and I've been in there and they're really nice I'll show you a picture of those all right I'm gonna do recordings throughout my stay here so this is just the start of it it's like they've got a storage area over there we got a little bridge over here to go over the creek which is uh, an overflow water creek or something not really sure anyway we're going through the bathroom and see the showers and some of the uh, other spots around here. These are the back end spots. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. <laughs> I know how to ride a bike. You haven't seen me ride it. Cool. Go for it. We got a nice little pool, but it's closed because of the uh, coronavirus.
Nice shower. Not bad at all. Got any tape? Let's check out the uh, laundry room here. Four washers, six dryers. Ooh, coffee. Oh, that's where they moved the library to. It's not in that little box anymore. Nice little laundry room. You can get a TV <laughs> with the Weather Channel. Walk over here to this one little cabin they got. This actually looks like a pretty big cabin. And then they got a smaller one next to it. It's a pretty good sized cabin. This one says Deluxe Cabin. This says Deluxe Cabin 2. Air conditioned in the whole bit. I think they're uh, 150 a night. That one has a queen right there and a bunk bed for kids and uh, twin size, I believe. Better living area than this one. I could live in this thing. <laughs> My campsite with the tarp up. Yeah, I was parked right over there, just straight out. I don't need power. I don't need water hookups or anything like that. So, and they moved me from the campsite to here. It was really nice of them. Thanks, guys. Oh, I was going to tell you. In the AOA camp, I met this awesome guy. <laughs> it's always something. His name's Tom. I'll toss this picture up here. And he has this amulets. He bought it for 15 grand at this sales place. And uh, it belonged to a fire station uh, over there in Virginia, I think is what he said. But it's over there. And I'll throw some photos up that I took. I didn't really do a video. But you can see it over there in the background. I might get a little closer. But it's a huge uh, ambulance and uh, he uses it as work truck and also towing that trailer behind it. And he's gonna make it a full-time RV. He's not done with that yet. But pretty dead gum cool. All right, well, this is the uh, the park I'm in. It's a nice clean park. My thoughts on this uh, KOA camp is here in Arlington, Texas is really, uh, it's a really nice park. Um, overall, I usually don't stay at KOA camps, uh, but during this coronavirus, this was just a good home base for me to stay for a little over a week. Uh, the staff here is really nice and it was just a uh, good place for me to hang out. Uh, for the most part I don't stay at KOA camps. I like to boondock uh, because the average cost was around $30 a night which is uh, a lot of money for me. So I, uh, I, I try to do some th things that are cheaper or free like boondocking. But anyhow Love this KOA camp, uh, and if you like that kind of thing, I would highly recommend this. I'm here at the AOA camp here in Arlington, Texas, and we'll just take a gander. Here's the kitchen. Oh, it has the, uh, this one has a kitchen table, the other one didn't. Uh, it does have the bunk beds in here. And I'm looking in because there's nobody here. There's nobody here. I've been leaving these out a lot because I don't know. I don't know if anybody's watching these last parts. Anyhow, this will probably be in the outtake. Catch y'all on the road.